Love from Seoul? Let's be honest, making your own meal on a busy ring night can be challenging. After a long day at work, all you want to do is relax on the couch and do absolutely nothing. That's why I brought this chicken noodle soup. Simple ingredients, budget friendly, and most importantly, it only takes 20 minutes. No matter how busy your life is, trust me, it's worth a try. It's getting cold outside, so there'll be nothing better than having a chicken noodle soup. But to get that rich and deep broth, it takes a lot of time and love. And I know that's not what you want, right? So for those of you, I brought this, a 20-minute chicken noodle soup. But don't worry about it. Just because we're cooking fast, it doesn't mean we're compromising on flavor. Trust me, once you try, you'll find yourself making this dish all winter long. For this, you will need some chicken, onion, green onions, garlic, potato, carrot, shiitake mushrooms, and some Korean knife cut noodles. Normally, to make a Korean chicken noodle soup, we need to boil the whole chicken, shred it up, let it cool, and season with some spices, and then put the bones back into the broth and simmer it for another half an hour. That sounds too complicated, right? But don't worry about it. Today, we're gonna be using only chicken thighs. And with a little bit of technique that I'm gonna show you today, you're gonna get amazingly delicious broth at the end. Maybe because of this simple recipe, you will never wanna go to a Korean restaurant again. All right, let's prep the vegetables. First, thinly slice half an onion. When the fat from the chicken meets this onion, that will create an incredible flavor and that will take our broth to the next level. And for information, if you want to cut down your cooking time, please be sure to thinly slice it. Next, let's chop some green onions. For Korean soups or stews, these bad boys are necessary. You can't talk about them without these bad boys. So remember, more green onion, more delicious. So please be generous with this. Once you're done slicing, smash 3 cloves of garlic and finely chop them. And then cut half a potato into matchsticks. The starch from the potato will thicken our soup, so you're gonna get more intense flavor at the end. And that is the beauty of kaigok soup, Korean knife cut noodle soup, so please do not skip it. Once that's done, slice some carrot into matchsticks. I'm gonna use about an eighth of a carrot. Actually, the carrot is not necessary, but this vibrant orange color will make it more beautiful and lovely. Lastly, thinly slice two shiitake mushrooms. It doesn't have to be shiitake mushrooms. You can use anything you want, except for random mushrooms in your backyard. So just use what you have. Everything will be fantastic. All right, the veg prep is done. Let's move on to the seasoning sauce for our noodle soup. But we need a few ingredients for this sauce, so let me prepare them real quick. First, finely chop one green onion and one clove of garlic. And for a spicy kick, finely chop one green chili. I'm using Cheongyang chili pepper, which is very spicy. But if you don't want it spicy, you can totally skip it. No problem at all. And then just for a little bit of color, slice some mild red chili. Alright, let's dump everything into a container. And then add 3 tablespoons of soy sauce, half a tablespoon of mirin, 1 tablespoon of Korean chili pepper flakes, 1 teaspoon of toasted sesame oil, some black pepper, and give it a good mix. That's it. So simple, right? For information, you could also enjoy this with steamed rice and dried seaweed. How? Just put a little bit of sauce on the rice and fold it. Because it's salty, spicy, and addictive, it's gonna be hard to stop eating it. So make sure you save some for your chicken noodle soup. Alright, it's cooking time. Get yourself a wok or pot. Add half a tablespoon of oil and heat it over medium-high heat. Once it gets nice and hot, place the chicken skin side down and cook for about 4 minutes. Once the chicken is nicely browned on the bottom, flip them over. And into this beautiful fat, throw in your sliced onions. Now we're just gonna caramelize these onions, but you don't have to saute these for like 40 or 50 minutes. Just about 4 to 5 minutes would be enough. And while you're doing it, using your tongs and scissors, cut the chicken into nice bite-sized pieces. You don't even need to cut the chicken on your cutting board. Awesome, right? 
All right, once your chicken and onions are beautifully cooked like this, add four cups of water and bring it to a boil. Today, we're gonna use seven cups of water in total, but we're not gonna add it all at once because this way, we can extract all the good flavors more effectively and quickly. Amazing, right? What? You wanna know this kind of tip more and more? I'm so glad you brought that up because everything you need is in this one book. Trust me, with this one book, you can cook more than 100 Korean dishes like a pro. So don't forget to check it out. The link is in the description. Once it starts to boil, add in your potatoes, carrots, shiitake mushrooms, one and a half tablespoons of chicken bouillon powder, one tablespoon of fish sauce, and let it continue to boil for about three more minutes. All right, it's been three minutes. Let's add the remaining three cups of water and bring it to a boil. It may seem like a lot of water, but our knife cut noodles absorb a lot of the broth. So if you add a small amount of water, you might end up with a chicken noodle soup with no soup. So you don't have to worry about it. You're doing good. Meanwhile, let's talk about the noodles. Today, as its name, I'm gonna be using fresh kalgoksu noodles, Korean knife cut noodles. Normally, this kalgoksu noodle has a lot of starch on the surface, so make sure you give it a quick rinse. Otherwise, again, you will end up with a chicken noodle soup with no soup. But be sure to remember this one thing. Rinse it right before you add it. If you don't take my advice and just rinse the noodles in advance and let it sit for a while on the counter, they're gonna stick together and you will see something like a wet pizza dough. So when you see the broth starts boiling again, that's the time. Once it's boiling again, add 2 cups of kalgoksu noodles and cook according to the package instructions. This will take about 5-6 to six minutes. When the noodles are cooked, turn the heat off. Now all you need to do is just add in our green onions, garlic, and give it a good mix. The residual heat will cook them a little bit, but if you're not a big fan of the strong aroma of raw garlic and green onions, you could just add them to the broth along with other vegetables. No problem at all. But this way, it's gonna be more fragrant, so I hope you follow my lead. Alright, let's start plating. Place some noodles in a bowl, and then add a good amount of the broth and a few shakes of black pepper. Now we can just serve this with our beautiful seasoning sauce on the side. Alright, it's done. You wanna know how it tastes? Let's call our taste tester. Claire? Wow, it's getting chilly outside and my body wants some nice comforting noodle soup. How did you read my mind? I'm super excited. Let's give it a try. Wow, we yeah. 닭에서 나온 기름이 샥 보이는 게 되게 국물이 진하고 맛있을 것 같다. 그럼 먹어봅시다. 국물 살짝 한 번만 떠먹고 바로 이어서 먹어볼게요. 음, 진하네. 음, 와, 음. 닭을 통째로 다 넣고서 한몇 시간 동안 고아서 만든 그런 국물의 맛이야. 그 정도로 정말 진하고 맛있다. 아직 양념장을 넣지도 않았는데 그냥 이대로도 먹어도 충분할 정도로 너무 맛있어. 매운 거 싫어하는 사람들은 굳이 바꾸지 않고 이것만 자체로 온전히 즐겨도 너무 좋을 것 같아. 맛있다. 음. 애기들도 먹기에 완벽하다고. 이제 양념장까지 넣어서 먹으면 더 완벽해지지. It looks super delicious, so you may want to add a lot, but you should not. It's going to be very salty, so just add a little bit. Mmm, 더 맛있어졌네. 명색이 닭 칼국수인데 아직 닭을 안 먹어서 닭을 닭을 먹어봐야지. Cheers. Mmm, 엄청 juicy하구만, 아주 촉촉해. 그냥 물에 빠진 닭이랑은 차원이 다르게 쫄깃쫄깃한 식감이 있어서 물컹물컹하고 흐물흐물 거리는 그런 닭 싫어하는 사람들 그런 사람들한테 딱이다. <웃음> 그런 사람이 바로 나야. <웃음> That's my story. <웃음> 이거를 샥 올려가지고 이제 먹으면 되지요. 먹기도 전에 만족스럽구만. <웃음> Cheers. 음. Today I showed you how to make a super simple but authentic Korean chicken noodle soup. How was it? It's quick enough to make on a busy weeknight, isn't it? 
Simple ingredients, budget friendly, and it doesn't take a long time to cook, so you should definitely give this a try. If you do, I'm pretty sure you'll be thankful to me all winter long. Alright, this is it for today, and I'll see you next time.